Hi, I'm Shelly Young, owner of The Chopping Block, and today I'm going to teach you how to cook artichokes. Uh, the first thing you want to know about artichokes is how to select them. So what you want to do when you're looking for artichokes, uh, no matter what the variety, you want to make sure that they're nice and heavy for their size. So actually pick them up and make sure they're heavy. And squeeze the leaves a little bit. They should be nice and tight and uh, held together. Uh, once you've selected the artichoke, the next step is to get it ready for cooking. And you'll notice on the artichoke that there are little thorns on the ends of these leaves. So what we want to do is cut those off, trim the stem up a little bit, and get them ready for cooking. So for my artichoke, the first thing, make sure you've got a nice, stable place to work here. Nice, big cutting board. These do move around a little bit. We're going to cut off the top of this. If I do it straight, I feel pretty good about myself. This isn't the straightest I've ever cut. Um, you've got your stem here. And really all you need to do is cut off the brown part. Uh, there's the center here is actually uh, an extension of the artichoke heart so there's no reason to discard that because you can cut that out and eat it. I pull off the very small leaves and I find this most easily done with kitchen shears. I just cut the tips off of each of the leaves. And I have here a stock pot. You want a big, ample size stock pot, at least eight quarts. I like the tall cylindrical ones. The artichokes seem to sit in there better than a short, short squatty stock pot. So I'm going to go ahead and put them in. This is cold water, that you don't need to bring it to a boil in advance. I've got a lot of salt here. This is a third of a cup of sea salt. If you really want to cut down on that, you can. But um, the artichokes won't absorb all this salt, but you want ample salt in there to season the artichokes. Uh, I've got three lemons here. Really all I need to do with those is cut them in half. Toss those in. And the next thing I'm going to do is make a sachet. That's going to also season the water and season the artichoke. How I do that, I've got a little piece of cheesecloth. You can also use tea bag if you have a tea bag. Uh, this is one tablespoon of black peppercorns, whole, two tablespoons of dried thyme, and four bay leaves. We put them in a sachet, um, in particularly with an artichoke, it's a good idea just because the uh, herbs will get stuck inside the leaves of the artichoke kind of difficult to get out. And I just tie this up with a string. This is a cooking twine. And we're going to drop this in here. And it's helpful just to cut this off and I just tie it to the edge of the pot. I've got the water coming to a boil. I'm going to let this boil. Once it comes to a boil, I'll turn it down to like a medium, a medium boil, not a high boil. The last little thing is this. You want a bowl, something that's heat proof. I fill this with water and I put, instead of a lid, I just put this on top of the artichokes and it weighs them down and keeps them submerged in the water quickly. This has been about 45 minutes now. I usually find artichokes, artichokes take between 45 minutes to an hour, but I have had them take longer too. What's most important is not how long you cook them, but that they're done. So let me show you how to check one. So we pull them out and then you just want to take one of the leaves, the inner leaves, and just tug on it and that should easily come out. Now be careful when you pull these out. The water can roll down the tongue and onto your hand. If I want to cut them in half, perhaps you only want to serve a half of an artichoke for a meal. Sometimes I like to grill them. Uh, I think they're delicious grilled. Um, and I'll cut them in half before I do that. But when you cut these in half, you're going to see there's a thistle in here and there's a um, some prickly stuff and if you want to remove that all you do is take your spoon and put it in and scoop that out just like so that way if you are 
grilling these or something like that or you want to put sauce on them or butter you can get it inside of the artichoke and around the artichoke and that is how you cook an artichoke <laughs>